the CV boots drop link has also been changed. All the interior is back in, all of the flooring's done. So, here is the rear view camera. Okay, so 30 days kind of went out the window. Had a few minor issuettes, but take you through what we've done so far. So, added some new alloys. These are actually VW Amarok alloys. They are a little bit too large. The tire size is a little bit too large for the hubs, but I had to cut some back um, underneath. I've actually removed the floor pan underneath the engine to get that in okay. I also put back one of the flip-flop seats so we can use it. Um, put in place a 110 amp hour battery. Um, hooked it up to some um, fuses at the back there, you can just about see and a 12 volt lighter and uh, then I've also got at the bottom an inverter and then to charge it I just run a solar panel direct using the clips I've got an Outback 60 MPPT charge controller to then charge that up and so far we seem to be going okay I've got the fridge there, not too impressed with that, it's supposed to be 12, 24 volt but doesn't uh, doesn't work particularly well, that might end up going back uh, so yeah you can see by that sticker we are actually using it now we are we've uh, not got any bed in it yet we've just thrown a blow-up bed in the back use that and then got a surfboard in the roof there just with some straps across to the handles um, the wheels again too large so we have to carry the spare inside as well but hey we get everything in and then chuck it out the other end set up and camp and then got some of these uh, curtains from V-Dub, great, they, they, really, they really work well. Bit of a minor modification on this one to get it in for the slide doors, because we don't have the fixed side, we've got two slide doors, so a bit of an amendment. But yeah, so we are now touring in Spain, and heading off today to Santiago de Compostilla. Uh, at the moment we're out on the west coast, and then after that we'll be heading in towards Portugal, so it's cool. Final setup. Oh, this is my mate's uh, Synchro Superstar carrying so much weight. Struggles a bit on the hills, but it's doing a sterling job. They've been going all the way down through France and uh, then into Spain and met up with us in northern Spain. We, however, cheated, came across on the Plymouth to Santander ferry. Oh, what a great sleep that was and then off at the other end and all exciting and yeah, the roads here are really easier to drive well, a couple of things that have been useful are the uh, getting in place this little sticker it's been really <laughs> it's been a bizarre little lifesaver a couple of times on there to tell you which way you need to drive just around islands simple thing but you know it's easy to forget and easy to get it messed up so there we go uh, oh yeah there are your shoes <laughs> so ABS unit was the point I last recorded ended up going through seven ABS units and finally putting it into a, a garage for them to have a look at the, the electrics the engine swap was particularly bad there's a lot of electrics that are, are still not working on here I still have issues with the passenger door lock and door uh, window it doesn't work yet so I've got to get the comfort control module swapped but whilst doing all the investigation we had a call from the police to find that the engine in this had actually come from a, another vehicle and not purchased legitimately so in effect it was somebody else's engine it was a stolen engine it came from another van that had been stolen and was put in at the point that the previous owner bought their van bought this van all very suspicious. I ended up getting the number of the guy from the police who had the, the van previously and then buying the engine off him. So I bought the engine that I thought I already owned. Uh, but now that's all legitimate. It's registered with DVLA, so we're all good. Uh, so we're now legitimate 1.9 manual. Over here, the aircon isn't connected to the engine yet, so it is a little warm in the days, but surprisingly in northern Spain it's actually not too hot you can get away without the air conditioning 
Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to run and how well we're going to run when we get into Portugal and the temperature starts to rise. But we shall see. All good so far. Cheers.